Hey everybody, welcome to Terry's Tesla. Today we're going to be taking a look at part two of my video from yesterday on the new holiday update of Tesla and the new boombox feature. And I got a lot of questions about how to use your own custom audio file or music for your horn, for your summon, for your driving. So today we're going to take a look at how to format one of these, your thumb drive, uh, in a way that's most effective so you can still use it for a sentry, um, sentry mode and dash cam and for the new boombox feature. Let's check it out. Okay, so the thumb drive that I'm going to be using, I'll put a link to it in my uh, description. It's a SanDisk, um, it's like one of their pro models, nice and fast, 128 gigabytes because I like to have a lot of space or a decent amount of space for my Sentry uh, mode and dash cam videos. But there's no reason why you need or should have to use two thumb drives, one for that and one for Boombox when you can uh, format one thumb drive to do both. Now, I'm kind of saddened by this because I was kind of happy that we got away from having to format our own thumb drives on the computer because we could do it right in the car. But here comes Tesla you know, along with another update that requires a weird new boombox uh, partition or, or drive and a, and a, and a uh, directory or folder. And it's just, guys, can you make it simple? Why do we have to do this? But anyway. End of rant, let's just get to how you would do it. So I'm gonna take my thumb drive and go ahead and pop it into my computer here. I'm on a Mac. Um, I'm sorry I'm not doing this on a Windows machine if you're a Windows user, but the process is gonna be pretty much the same. You would just format it using your Windows utility now that uh, Tesla also supports XFAT. So it's no longer you need a special utility for FAT32, XFAT works just fine. All right, so now my thumb drive's in, um, it's not just going to, it actually did pop up over there on the other monitor, but we don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to fire up disk utility. So disk utility, just do a search. And there it is, my SanDisk Extreme 3.0 uh, with a Tesla drive um, partition that's already there. So if we were to go look at that drive right now, let's go ahead and uh, show it in the finder. And it just popped up. I tried the simplest thing. I tried just sticking a boombox folder on that existing uh, thumb drive that Tesla formatted. This got formatted in my car. It put the Tesla cam folder on it. I just stuck another directory on there and tried it. Doesn't work. So <laughs> we got to do it this way. So let's go ahead and close that up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and erase this drive. So make sure, because you are going to lose whatever's on it. So make sure there are videos you want to watch or things you need to see. Copy them off first, because if you do this, and this is a warning, you're about to erase all the contents on the thumb drive. Don't come back to me with messages saying, hey, I lost my videos, because I'm telling you right now, you're going to lose your videos. If you want something on that drive, copy it off now. I'll wait. All right, good. You got it? Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase. And it's going to ask me what do I want to erase it as, what format. I'm going to go ahead and actually say that, actually, no, we're not going to do this. We're going to erase the actual drive itself, not just the partition that's already there. So uh, if you, um, if for whatever reason you only see the, the thumb drives um, partition, but you don't see the actual hardware itself, Go up to view and make sure you've got all devices checked. In other words, show everything. Because sometimes if that's not checked, you will only see the actual partition, but not the hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the hardware now. There we go. This is the window I was looking for. And what I'm looking for is I'm going to go ahead and do it in a, in a, um, a, a GUID guide partition map. And I'm just going to just let it, let it have the default of Mac OS Extended Journal. Even though we're not going to keep it that way, we're just going to erase it that way because we can't partition it until we get it into that format first. So let's just, we're just going to hit Erase. It's going to do it. It's unmounting it. It's wiping out everything on the drive, losing all your videos. So again, don't do this if you haven't already copied everything off that you wanted. And of course, you can do it to a new drive. You don't have to use your existing one unless you just want to not have to buy a new drive. All right, so we'll let that format, and it's done, and we'll click done, and now I've got this new untitled useless drive that can't do anything. Now we're going to go ahead and click partition, now that we have the option to do, our, do a partition. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a second partition. 
So now we've got two. We got Untitled and Untitled 2. So Untitled 2, we're going to use that for the um, boom box. Now you notice uh, when you do a partition, it just by default splits it in half. So it takes my 128 gigabytes and splits it into two 60 something odd gigabyte partitions. Well, that's a waste of space because Boombox only allows you to have up to five songs in this current format, in this current um, update. So there's no reason wasting all that space for the second partition when you're only going to put up to five songs on it. I'm only going to put one on it for right now. So I'm going to take the second partition all the way down to no more than around 15 gigabytes. I figure, you know, give give a song up to three gigabytes per song. So somewhere around there. And you could type in the number if you want. So if I wanted to be exact, I could type in exactly 15. Now, the, here's the big part. You want to make sure for the format for both partitions, for the one you just sized down and the existing one, that they're going to be in the right format. So right now they're not. We're going to change it to XFAT. And then we're going to make this one, we're going to call this one Boombox. So we know which one that one's for. Now we're going to go to this one, which is the big one, and this is going to be the um, the one for your Tesla drive, the one for your um, your dash cam and, and sentry mode. So again, same thing, we're going to make it XFAT, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that this one is called uh, whatever you want it to be called, but it could be, uh, I'm just going to call it Tesla drive, I think that's what it, I think that was what it called it, but it doesn't matter. The name of the actual volume doesn't matter. So now I got them both set. Boombox um, to you know be XFAT and Tesla Drive to be XFAT and then I'm going to hit apply. Now again, it's already wiped it out once, so it's just going to wipe it out again, and we'll let that run. All right, it finished successfully. If it didn't for some reason complete successfully, just run it again. Sometimes disk utility can be finicky, so just running the exact same operation again will, will usually complete successfully, unless something's wrong with the drive. All right, so it finished. I'm just going to hit done, and there are both my partitions. The Tesla drive, which is the bigger one, and it, again, it is XFAT. It's 110 gigabytes free, and then the new Boombox, which is also XFAT, and it's uh, you know around 15 gigs. All right, so now uh, they're on my desktop, and I'm just going to go ahead and mount or show them manually. So let's go ahead and just uh, right-click and say Show in Finder, and we'll bring that, that window over. There's my Tesla Drive one, and then we'll do the other one as well. Let's uh, right-click Show in Finder, and here comes, there's the other one. Okay, so it's right there. All right, so now I got both partitions. I can now quit out of um, disk utility. That's all we needed it for was to format. Now, you're not done yet. You got to remember, you still need to set these two partitions up with the right folders or directories on them so that the Tesla will see them. So going back to the Tesla drive, this is going to be the one for your sentry mode for your um, sentry mode and dash cam. And it needs that Tesla cam folder. It still needs it. So we're going to create a new folder, a new folder on that drive, and we're going to call it, and it's very specific, T, capital T, Lowercase Tesla, <laughs> capital C for cam, all one word, Tesla cam. If you don't do it exactly like that, it will not work. You can make it all caps. If you make it all lowercase, if you put a space in between it, any of those things will tell it not to work. So it needs to be, uh, it's case sensitive. Tesla, uppercase T, cam, uppercase C, all is one word. Same thing down here for boombox. Even though you named the, the drive that, we still need a, a folder or a directory on here. So I just hit Command Shift N for a new folder. And we're going to make that boombox, all one word, just a capital B, lowercase b in the middle. So once you make that boombox, you're good to go. Now, you still haven't put anything in the boombox folder. So that's the next step. Tesla cam folder is going to be empty because that's the one that's going to write all your uh, your videos as you're driving or in sentry mode. But this one, you actually need to put something in it. Now, I have a song that I want to put in it already. So here's my Apple Music. So I launched Apple Music. I went and bought the theme to Knight Rider. So it's a song you can go buy uh, by Stu Phillips. Is that Phillips? Yes, yeah, Stu Phillips. But the problem is this song when, or any song you buy from iTunes is not an MP3. It's an M4A which is a higher quality file, and that's the standard format for, um, for Apple Music or for iTunes Music. So when I right click on this and I say, show me this song in the Finder, show me the song in the Finder, show in the Finder, there it is. 
um, it will bring up that window and I'm going to bring it over right now. And there it is. So there's my M4A and that's not going to help me at all because that won't work on Boombox. So I need to do one more thing. I'm going to go to my preferences for Apple Music. I'm going to go over to, uh, I think it's in files. Yeah, files. And I'm going to click import settings. And in import settings, I'm going to change it to not using an AAC format. I'm going to change it to an MP3 because Boombox wants MP3 files. Now that I've done that, I'm going to even bump up the quality. Let's give me a nice high quality 192 KPS uh, encoder. So now when I click OK, click OK, nothing happens. You've just now set up Apple Music or your iTunes to convert any new songs to that format. Well, this song's already here. It's not new. So what I want to do is, while I've got that song, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go and do a convert under the file menu. Now it says create MP3 version instead of AAC version. So when I create that version, it will add it back in iTunes, but more importantly, it puts it in that folder where the original song is. So I got both songs there. So now I can copy this song over to my Boombox folder on that thumb drive. But there's one more, one more problem with this. Number one, that name doesn't mean anything to me. One main title dot mp3, that's, that's useless. So I want to rename this so that when I see it in my Tesla, I know what it's for. Uh, but there's a bigger problem. Even if the name was correct, from what I hear through the grapevine, things like spaces in the name don't work. So you want to make sure that there are no spaces, no funny characters, nothing in there that's weird. Just name it something simple so that it works. I'm just going to go ahead and call this, you got it, Knight Rider. No spaces, no weird symbols, just all, you know, put together .mp3. So if I hit the space bar, it plays, great. And I know that works now. Okay, so now I've got everything set up the way I need it to be set up. I've got, and I can quit out of Apple Music. I've got my one partition called Tesla Drive with the Tesla Cam folder on it. I've got my second smaller partition with the um, Boombox uh, directory on it with that one or up to five. You can go ahead and put up to five MP3s in that folder. Make sure there are no spaces. Make sure there are no weird symbols. Uh, make sure they are mp3s and not um, aac files all right so now that or any other format for that matter wave files or anything else so make sure you got mp3s in there and you should be good to go so now i can go ahead and eject these drives so here they are and when i eject one it's going to ask me to eject both because it's the same hardware just two partitions so i can either eject just the one partition or eject them both i'm going to eject them both and then you're going to join me in the car for some fun let's go All right, so now I'm going to take the formatted thumb drive that we just formatted with the boombox partition on it. And let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, <clears throat> once that's plugged in, and we'll just go up and we can see that I can now start the um, dash cam. Just press it down and hold it. Dash cam's lit up so it knows the Tesla cam folder is there. And now we'll go ahead and go to the toy box. And now with Toy Box, I'm gonna set mine for the Smart Summon sound. And of course you can get all the sounds that you normally get, but if I scroll up, I now have that USB Knight Rider theme that we put on the thumb drive. So I can go ahead and do that. I can preview it. I can hear it. And we'll do a Smart Summon test to uh, actually see it in action and have the car come up with the sound playing. Now, of course, you can use uh, up to five songs on that USB drive, uh, or five audio files. We'll cut. We don't have, don't have to be sounds, uh, or songs, and you can use that as a horn, a driving sound, or your summon sound. So right now, I'm just good with summon. Maybe I'll make it my driving sound too. But uh, you, if you want to replace your horn with something, you can replace your horn with something. And keep in mind, this is all using that pedestrian speaker. So if you don't have a pedestrian speaker, uh, this feature may not be available to you. All right, time for a little smart summon. Let's hold it down and see if we can hear our Knight Rider theme. Here we go.
And there you have it. That's pretty freaking sweet. My car coming to me to pick me up. With the theme of Knight Rider playing in the background. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining me on this venture of part two of the 2020 Tesla holiday update. And I just want to wish everyone a happy holidays, happy new year, drive safely, and stay safe out there. Remember, autopilot and, and auto steer are assistants. They're not for you to fall asleep or close your eyes or do anything else weird. Pay attention while you're driving and uh, stay safe. And I'll catch you up on the next update. Cheers, everybody. And if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and hit a like. Thanks.